If you've been following along with our Harvest Valley farm build, you know we've gotten quite a lot of work done so far. In this video, we'll put some finishing touches on our farm and establish a couple of new industries that are not currently on the map. Hello and welcome to the Farm Bubba channel, where we help you learn all you need to have fun in Farming Simulator 22. Be sure and check out the Farm Bubba channel homepage for more videos. And while you're there, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video is posted. Please leave a comment below to let us know what topics you would like to see in a future video. All right, then let's get going. So far in the previous videos, we've sold off some buildings and equipment to generate some cash and then spent that cash on some new buildings, animal pens and equipment. We re-landscaped our farm after moving some things around and expanding one of our fields. And then we added auto drive to connect several areas of the farm in order to automate some tasks by using AI workers. In the last video about my favorite pieces of equipment, I apparently left off a couple pieces of my favorite equipment. So the first thing we're going to do is go purchase that equipment that's necessary to run our farm. If we go back in our tools menu under trailers, first thing we need to get is a dedicated manure trailer. So we'll select this one here, bump the capacity all the way up. We don't really need a cover on it, but let's change the color of the chassis to black. Let's change the extension color to black also. And we're going to add a license plate. Next thing we're going to need is a slurry tank. We'll buy this tank here and place it just outside the barn where the slurry offloads. So then what we need is a slurry trailer to transport the slurry to a cell point. We'll take this one here. And the most important thing that I forgot a fertilizer spreader. I like this fertilizer spreader here because it will do lime and fertilizer. Let's put an extension on it with a roof. You know I like me some Michelin tires. We'll add the spreading disc so that we can spread a little bit wider path. We'll put a license plate on it and we're good to go. Now that we've got our equipment all sorted, let's take a look at some factories. Here's our farm here. And just a little ways over here is an industrial complex. Now this industrial complex has a couple of industries that we will probably use. But it's missing a little something. Here we have a bakery. A sugar mill. There's an oil mill, and lastly, there is a grain mill. And what this area also has is plenty of room back here to add anything else we want. Since we're growing and harvesting crops on our farm, it makes sense that we need seed and fertilizer. If we go into our construction menu, over to production, then down to factories, and here we have our seed and fertilizer factory. Our seed and fertilizer factory will fit right back here. And then right next to our seed and fertilizer factory, we have room to put our sell everything container. Once we fill the seed and fertilizer factory with slurry and manure, we can sell the excess right here at the sell point. So now all we gotta do is make sure we have an auto drive path all the way to that location. Right away, we see this path is not connected in the way that we need it to be. So let's correct that. Let's make a path from here to here. All we do is touch the first point back here behind our tractor, touch on this other point here, roll our squirrel wheel back till we get a nice even curve. Then we click and we've got a path right there. 
We already have a return path that we can see on our left here. And we go up and over the bridge. And now we just need to figure out the best route in and out of this location. So if we take this path here and go around to the back of all of these buildings, we should be able to go in front of the seed and fertilizer factory. And then we can dump here and any excess can be routed over here, dropped off at that cell point. And then we can come right back out and go right back out the road. So let's just create a path right here. Just left click on the record button. Let's connect these two nodes. Now we can just drive a path into this area. Let's swing to the left just a little bit to make sure that we have enough room to make the corner when we have a trailer behind us. We're going to make this path go right in front here so that we can load out our seed and fertilizer when it's finished. Then we're going to go right back out and connect into the main road here. Now, in order to dump our raw materials, we need to take just a little bit different approach. We're going to go in this second entrance here. Left click on the record button. Connect these two little dots. And we're going to turn in here, which should go straight back to our dump area. We're going to swing through just like this curve across the grate for our sell everything container and then we're going to tie right back into this other route to go back out so now all we need to do is come back in here and name our points let's make sure we get the right one here this is the one we want let's move it out just a little bit we'll name this one seed and feed And let's turn over here just a little bit and we will pick this one let's say this one here we can always adjust it later and we'll call this one seed and feed dump move over here across the grate let's pick this one here and this one's called sell everything and we always want to test everything so we select seed and feed and let's see if he drives to the seed and feed loadout. Now for the seed and feed dump. And now the sell everything container. Something I didn't mention before, after you've set your routes in auto drive with your lines being overhead, you can always change those to go back to ground level. Just click on it there. Be sure, since you've got this red icon, be sure to apply. And then you just have to start it up again. And there it is down below the tractor, which is not as distracting as it is above the tractor while you're laying out your routes. And here we are back at the farm. So there we see our two additions to this little industrial complex. I think they fit in pretty nicely in the back here without crowding things too much. The only other problem is there's not much room to put anything else in here. 
Now that we have a place to put our slurry and manure to good use, and a place to sell the excess, here we can see for milk, we have two choices, the bakery and Johnson's Farmer's Market. There is no dairy on this map. I don't know about you, but I like delivering my milk to the dairy. At the dairy, we can turn milk into butter and sell it at a better price, or we can turn it into cheese and sell it at an even better price. Now we need to find a place to put a dairy. And I've got just the place. A little further up the road here is where our shop facility is located. Now, you can't put anything in the shop area there because the shop area is just restricted from any further development. However, there's a big lot right here. The building I have in mind is a nice little corner dairy that'll work just perfect. But first, we're going to have to clear the land. If you're into forestry, you can use some of this big equipment here, but it's expensive and it's a little awkward to use. I've used some of it before, and unless you use it a lot and get the hang of it, it's kind of difficult. Or you can also use this piece of equipment here, which attaches to the front of a tractor or the back, but it's got to be a pretty big tractor. And as the name implies, it'll make a tree disappear. Well, the method I like uses your easy development controls. Go down here to delete objects input and turn it on. Then all you have to do is approach a tree with your target in the middle of it and touch the delete key. You're not making any money off of them, but you're not having to hassle with a bunch of machinery to do it either. Just go through the whole lot and delete all your trees. Now that we've cleared out all of our trees, our dairy should fit right about in through there. Might have removed a few too many trees, but we can always add a couple in just to make it look pretty. This ground is uneven and it needs to be smoothed out, and that's relatively easy to do. If we go over to landscaping, down to sculpting, and level. I'd pick a square target, so just go in and level this whole area in through here. Get it nice and flat. Before we place this building in here, you see some of these pesky little weeds in through here? These things will show through almost any texture you put down, especially this little one right here. So what I found that you have to do is go into landscaping, go into plants, and plant this grass all over the place. You can set a big target on it and just cover this entire area with this grass. And this will eliminate all those other little weeds there. And so now we just have this regular little field grass all over the place. And then this funny little rise in the back here. Take your soften tool. Go into this area here. Make it a little bit bigger and then just soften this whole area here. You see how it's dropping down, smoothing out some? Make it a little smoother transition there. Now we can place our dairy right in here, just where we want it. Now we'll just go in and landscape around it. And there's the dairy, all finished and ready for business. Now all we need to do is add our auto drive path into and out of the dairy.
Then we just go back in and name our dump point. And there the dairy is all set up. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our farm build here on Harvest Valley map. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure and visit the Farm Bubba channel homepage for more videos. And while you're there, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when future videos post. Please leave a comment below with any suggestions you have for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.